Hello my friends and welcome to the Walters Art Museum online. My name is Kelsey and I'm an education coordinator at the museum. I want to thank you all so much for joining us today wherever you are to look at art and to make art. Today we'll be taking a close look at a necklace from Germany and then we'll create our own recycled adornments. Today we are looking at wearable art in the form of adornments. Have you ever heard that word before? What is an adornment? An adornment is an object like a piece of jewelry that you might wear to a special occasion or event. Adornments have been created and worn by nearly every culture for centuries and centuries. Some of these things may remind us of the jewelry we wear today. What's one piece of jewelry that you like to wear? I like to wear earrings. Look closely at this necklace. What types of materials do you think this piece might have been made from? These beads are made of ceramic or clay. Throughout history, jewelry has been made of shells, animal bones, metal, and stones. Can you guess how many beads are on this necklace? There are 50 beads. Let's continue to think about jewelry and unique materials as we create our own recycled adornments. For this project, you will need newspapers or magazines, glue, a paintbrush, a straw or a dowel, and some yarn or a string. Select which pages of the magazine you want to use for your beads. I'm looking for colorful pages that will make colorful beads. Start by cutting the magazines into long, thin triangles. My triangles are no wider than an inch and a half. If you don't have newspapers or magazines, feel free to use construction paper. Now it's time to wrap the triangles around the straw. Wrap the wide end of the triangle around the straw once. Add glue to the rest of the triangle and continue to roll the magazine around the straw. It's okay if the glue leaks out. This will help secure the bead. When the bead is all rolled up, slide it off the straw and let it dry on a flat surface. If the bead does not come off the straw, just cut the ends of the straw off. Repeat this process until you have enough beads to make a necklace, bracelet, or whatever kind of jewelry you want to make. Let the beads dry completely before assembling your jewelry. String your beads onto a piece of yarn or string. How many will you use? What kind of pattern will you make? Add beads to your string until you're satisfied with your jewelry design. Now it's time to show off your new piece of jewelry. That's all for now, my friends. For more information, be sure to check out our website, thewalters.org, and follow us on social media. I hope to see you next time at the museum. Bye.